still my dream to come here in front of you guys. Last year I was not able to make. Uh, last year I was, not, I, was, I was not able to make it because I was in Singapore with my family, and I got first place, and I was like, oh my god, that's impossible to go there. But now I did it again, and thank God, thank God to God, be the glory. Ang buhay ay parang paglalakbay. Minsan, tahimik at mapayapa. Minsan na may magulo at may kaunting hirap. At hindi lahat ng gusto mo ibibigay sa iyo. Minsan naman, mabilis ang takbo. Maraming nangyayari. At sa bilis ng panahon, di ko na napansin. Andito na pala ako. Lito Si was born on the 7th of November 1966 to a big family in Turil, Davao City. He was the seventh child to a brood of ten. He attended elementary at Chiang Kai-shek College and finished high school at Davao Center High School. After graduation, Lito thought of venturing on to Manila to maybe try and look for a better life. Little did he know this would be the start of something big. Nagpunta siya ng Manila, siguro mga how many months, in short, naging light man pa siya. Alam mo kung magkano sa hawd nila ito? Ang laki eh. 50 pesos. Nag-start siya as a light man sa brother-in-law ko rin, si Jaime T. So doon, nag-umpisa doon na, doon niya nakita yung kanyang talent na artist pala siya. I need to earn while studying. So I signed up as a PA and as a light man to a certain studio and that will support my needs already in Manila. So after a year, I realized na medyo life in Manila is very hard compared to Davao. So I decided to go back home and stay in Davao. Lito then enrolled in Ateneo de Davao. His course was electrical engineering. They had a family business at that time, renting out videotapes and he was put in charge of what he refers to as the piracy department. So I will be the one in charge sa duplication ng mga Betamax before to be rented out sa mga clients. In the process, I would end up watching three to four movies in a day. Ganun yung naging umpisa ko na napunta ako sa cinematography and videography. Just like his time as a lightsman, Lito now sees this as a sign that he was being led to the career he has now. But during that time, all he could think about was finding more financially rewarding pursuits. Naisip ko magkaroon sana ng photo and video services. Pero, ang problema, wala akong pera. Wala siyang, wala siyang capital talaga, zero. Yung capital ni Lito, guts lang, ganun lang. Alawas lang naman kasi sa akin that time, eh. trabaho ko sa family business na videotape rental. Naisip ko magpataya ng last two digits sa sip stakes. And I approached my mom. Sabi ko, Ma, pwedeng pumili ka ng isang number. Sabi ng mom ko, black mo number 33. Maganda yan. Sabi ko, sige ma, ang pangit naman ang number ng pinili mo. Huwag kang hindi mo nanalo. True enough, lumabas sa sip stake last two number, number 33. So, 
nagkapera ako. Binili ko siya ng mga Betamax tape na blanco. So, nilalako niya yun. Parang nagpaparent siya. May mga suki siya. Yun yung before. Over time, Lito gathered enough funds to buy a second-hand video camera and together with his cousin, who was a photographer, they launched Lito C. Photography and Videography. Sabi niya sa akin, paano mo pag-picture niyo? Sabi ko, o sige, tuturuan kita. Kailangan mag-insayo ka muna sa, ano, sa video. Actually, videographer ako noon. Kasama ko yung pinsan ko na photographer tsaka isang pamangkin ko na lightman. Tatlo kami sa isang scooter. So, rain or shine, nagsushoot kami. Awang-awa kami sa sarili namin kasi nababasa kami minsan. Pero, ang masarap lang doon, hindi kami nalilate kasi nakamotor kami. Dudaw, nakakasawa naman to. Lagi ka ng video. Ako naman yung picture. Paano ba yan? Dapat itong marunong ka mag-picture. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi darating yung time na maghihiwalay na tayo. And one time, yung pinsan ko ayaw na mag-shoot. So I took his role as a photographer. And una kong na-shoot was the wedding of my pastor. Lito si attends our church. Nung sinabi ko sa kanya na siya mag magko-cover ng kasal ko, tuwa siya. And then I'm going to do it for you. This is my first time that I'm going to do it the best. Over the next 10 years, Lito's small dream would flourish in his hometown. But then, destiny had other plans for him. At 29, Lito met his first great love. After some time, they found out they were expecting. Searching for greener pastures, Lito decided to give life in Manila another try. Lito decided to move his practice as well and started joining bridal fairs, and thankfully was blessed with new clients and, of course, new friends. Since day one here in Manila, the first bridal fair namin, we're already together. time na yon analog pa lang. So, film-based pa lang yung camera. Pero siya, ang ginawa niya, pinasok na niya ang digital at that time. Parang ini-edit ano niya, ini -edit niya, ginagawa niya presentation. Parang naka-slideshow yung photos niya na nakunan niya on that day. Kaya noon, hindi masyado kilala yung name niya. Pero people would describe, you know the photographer na nag-playback ng photos during the event? So, Mike Lim suggested ilabas natin before pumasok yung couple. And then, Mike suggested it to be called OBB, which is Opening Billboard. Kaya yun yung mga steps na ginawa niya in the industry na hanggang ngayon, nagagamit pa rin. He always try to excel and he really wants to find things to a better perspective. He's able to grow with the times. And I think the same can be said about his photography. That's why he's lasted this long. Lito really adapts to new technology. Whatever is new, uh, he improves and he learns that way. Yun si Lito si. Kung ano yung pinakalitis, yun yung gusto niya. Younger na yung group ngayon, pero napagkocombine niya yung both era, ika nga. Ever since nag-start si Lito, maganda na talaga yung photos niya. Lighting is very amazing. Uh, mga pictures niya, may sariling kwento. Ilinalabas na lahat ng expression dun sa kanyang mga kuwa. Hindi ko ka-expect na makita na ako ng angel. Nung makita niya, pati ang lighting. When you own a Lito C album from your wedding, this is something that you would appreciate uh, for a very long time. Um, I think that's what people appreciate about him. And he really is good with his craft and um, and the new heart. After the first wedding, nasundan at nasundan at nasundan. Lito made a name again in this new territory. He landed several big weddings and social events and soon became a favorite among high-end clients. He was happy and very inspired, especially with the coming of another woman in his life, his daughter, Leon Isabel C. The first time I saw Leon, it melted my heart. Because I can see myself in her. And I said to myself, napakagandang bata, kamukhang kamukha ng tatay. I think I was about like five years old before he'd come home pretty late. So I'd always be waiting there at the gate for him and it was really cool having him kind of be there. And growing up, he also taught me a lot about photography and everything like that. 
always kind of just there to make you laugh, and that was always really nice. She made me realize that I need to value more the important things in life. So from then on, nag-iba yung pananaw ko sa buhay. Lalo akong nagsikap, lalo akong nag-train sa sarili ko, na mas gumanda pa yung trabaho ko. Dahil doon, nanalo ako ng international contest, naging photographer of the year ako, at nakilala ako sa buong Pilipinas at sa buong mundo. I think Lian is the lucky charm in my life. Photographer of the Year, four times, and the Wedding and Portrait Photographers of the Philippines, or WPPP. First placer for numerous times in the Wedding and Portrait Photographers International, WPPI, print competitions in Las Vegas, USA. One of the few members of the WPPI Double Master Photographers. Included in the top 30 wedding photographers in Asia. He also received accolades such as Double Master Photographer of WPP, Wedding and Portrait Photographers of the Philippines, WPPM, Wedding and Portrait Photographers of Malaysia, and the WPP Asia, Wedding and Portrait Photographers of Asia. Ngunit katulad nga ng sabi ko, di lahat ng gusto mo ibibigay sa'yo. Nagtagumpay man ang aking negosyo, nadurog naman ang puso ko. Sana malapit na soon na talaga yung partner in life mo. Sana makahanap ka ng iyong soulmate. Sana mahanap mo na yung one true love. Ang kapay, makapakinda ka pang international na asawa. Sayang pa ka international na photographer kung dili pang international. I hope you continue in inspiring a lot of young photographers. Lahat ng mga nangyayari sa kanya, his faith made him stronger. Walang aksidente, lahat ng mga nangyayari may dahilan. It always boils and goes towards so to this moment today. I describe dito in one word, horny! Ow! Nagbibinata. Uh, he's funny. Lito si Carinoso. Very strong person si Lito. Excellent photographer. Excellent. A well-rounded personality. Sincere. Matapang or very strict, but he is very kind-hearted. That's Lito C. There has been a lot of challenges in my life. I can say it was perfect, but I will always be thankful for all that I have and experienced. I never thought I would get to where I am now, that my small dream would grow for 25 years. After so many hardships, it was indeed a hell of a ride. But the journey is not yet over. I am Lito C. And this is my legacy.